House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is a criminal. She engages in illegal activity and she organizes on behalf of criminals. Exhibit A. Um, Madam Speaker, uh, Insider just completed a five-month investigation. 49 members of Congress and 182 senior congressional staffers have violated the Stock Act, um, the Insider Trading Law. I'm wondering if you have any reaction to that. And secondly, should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Um, any, uh, we have a responsibility to report in the stock on the stock, but I don't, I'm not familiar with that five month review. But if uh, people aren't reporting, they should be. Why yeah. Because uh, this is a free market, and people, we are a free market economy, they should be able to participate in that. Um, Madam Speaker, uh hold up. I have, uh, I have a very adequate statement on this one. Well, what did it mean then? Explain. It meant that it's indicative, indicative of low resolution thinking. First of all, I've got multiple things that I want to say here. Free market economy? Huh? That is the literal exact opposite of a free market economy. A free market is when everyone plays by the fucking same fucking rules. That's a free market economy. When you have insider information and you can predict the future of the market and then you manipulate the market based on your own self-interest at the expense of American people, that is not a free market economy. So we don't live in a free market economy. We never have, right? The people that have disproportionate amounts of money and power have always been able to manipulate the market. 90% of stocks are owned by like 1% of the population, right? This country is not a free market economy. It's garbage. It's trash. They're criminals. This is a cr criminal syndicate. The House of Representatives is a criminal syndicate. The Senate is an organized criminal syndicate. Imagine like gangsters with their Tommy guns. That's basically what the Senate and the House are. They're criminals. They're organized crime. And who's getting stolen from? You are. They are stealing your tax dollars and they give you nothing in response. Nothing at all in response. They give you nothing. They give you nothing at all. And then they have the audacity to do this fucking horse shit. Now, I would go as far, I think that we should abolish money. I think we should abolish the stock market. I think we should abolish all this kinds of shit, right? If it's a game, if it's like Monopoly, like an, a game, and you want to invest fake money into the stock market and money is not tied to your survival, that's one thing. If it's a game, if it's like getting the top of a leaderboard on like OSU or whatever, that's fine. Let there be a stock market. But if it's tied to money, and if money is tied to survival, then that shit is fucked up. And again, again, that's the problem with all of this, is they control the money, they control the stocks, they control the information, they've got you by the fucking balls. And then they won't even fill your fucking potholes. They say that the stimulus packages caused runaway inflation and not giant tax cuts for the rich. Again, they're criminals. I don't know what to tell you. They are criminals. Remember when Dianne Feinstein, senator from California, Nancy Pelosi's friend, was caught up in an insider trading scandal with Richard Burr, senator from North Carolina, and Kelly Leffler, then senator from Georgia. She lost epic style. But every time Democrats, they, they couldn't ignore it. They tried for a little bit. But then every time they mentioned it, they said Richard Burr and Kelly Leffler. Dianne Feinstein was implicated in the same insider trading scandal. But every time Democratic leadership mentioned it, they just conveniently left that part out. Just made up. Like, yeah, it was just the, just the Republicans.
They're criminals. And we're just letting them get away with it. There's going to be no accountability for them. The amount of death, suffering, and despair that they cause while they laugh about it, there will be no accountability. The worst thing that Nancy Pelosi could ever imagine is losing an election. And she said that she's going to retire. We'll see how that goes. The worst thing that she can imagine is losing an election and then living the rest of her life in luxury. That is the absolute worst case scenario in this government, in this country. She is personally responsible for the deaths of at least 800,000 people in this country. The suffering of the rest of us. Right? The emaciation of this country. She is responsible for it. She is one of the most powerful members of the U.S. government. And she chooses time and time again to act on behalf of big corporations, big donors, and against the American people. She is one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. In world history. Because that's all government is. It's a group of organized serial killers. They get together and they wonder and they plan on how to kill as many people as possible for the rush. And to steal all of their money and then to get away with it. That's all government is. So fuck them in the face. I'm sick of it. Ugh, my eyeballs got something in it. 